New protection barrier for endoscopic procedures in the era of COVID-19 pandemic. In December 2019, the World Health Organization office in China was informed of case of pneumonia of unknown etiology detected in Wuhan. A new coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2 was identified. On March 11, 2020, the infection was declared a pandemic by the WHO. Digestive endoscopic procedures carry a high risk of exposure given the high production of aerosols they generate. A recent study by Johnson et al. confirmed significant exposure of the endoscopist to potentially infectious biological samples during endoscopy. This motivates us to seek a new protection barrier for endoscopies limiting contact with aerosols from the patient. We want to introduce an economical and easily achievable anti-aerosol barrier designed that protects the group involved in upper and lower digestive endoscopy procedures. All endoscopy physicians are exposed to be contaminated by aerosols coming from patients contaminated with COVID-19. This is because the short distance between the patient and the endoscopist. For this reason, we create a new protective barrier in order to avoid this kind of contamination. The elements of the barrier are a plastic sheet, a mouth protector, an oxygen cannula, a tape and a lubricant gel. Once you have all elements of the barrier, the next step is to open the 75 by 75 centimeters plastic sheet folding it in half. Now you can take the 18 mm tape and place it 50 mm from the edge of the fold, creating an empty hole for the endoscope. Now, we have the access route for the procedure. Take the lubricant gel and fill the hole to insert the scope, as you can see here. Before installing the barrier, the nurse has to place the oxygen cannula and the mouth protector. The endoscopist placed the barrier over the patient, as you can see. It is very important that the nurse assistant fix the plastic to avoid the displacement during the procedure. Now we can insert the scope through the hole and to project to the mouth. You can start the upper endoscopy procedure as usual. The barrier is fixed in place during the insertion of the endoscope. Finishing the procedure and withdrawing the scope. The barrier should remain in place until the end of the procedure. Aerosols can be seen in the plastic. This is the objective 
of this barrier. The nurse is removing the mouth protector and putting on the face mask. In an enveloping maneuver, the barrier is progressively withdrawn. Now to finish, you can make a sphere and cover it with the globes. Once covered, discard it. In conclusion, endoscopic procedures involve a high risk of contamination to COVID-19 due to the high production of aerosols that are generated. All the protection described in the PPE guidelines must be used. We present a protection method to reduce the risk of contamination. The barrier is cheap, easy to make, requires few elements and can be used in upper endoscopy procedures like EGD, EUS, ERCP and lower digestive endoscopy procedures as well.